Hello everyone, welcome to the surface modeling practice. In this tutorial we can create this shape here. So maybe you see it, so we have this cut out which goes like inside, but which smoothly transitions here into the main helmet's surface and we again have absolutely perfect chamfers which ends in the surface with absolutely crazy transitions. Super excited to show you them here. And as always when you know how to work with surface modeling you can create render such that and you see it just looks so good with those different breaks of light and angles. So let's have a look how to do that and it's pretty simple as always. You can download this project file so you can follow along and do that guys because if you just watch it you will learn zero. And just one little note if you want to learn how to create this helmet here completely from scratch in just a few hours so you will save weeks of scrubbing through random tutorials and you will learn the whole process from completely start till the finish with hundreds of interesting techniques check out this course let's start here so you just see that we really can just start with if we untrim this sheet here and we hide everything so you see we just have this super weird looking shape but if we symmetry it over you see this is like kind of our very very rough shape where we start to model our helmet so if you want to learn that how you can transform this sheet into this whole helmet with those hundreds of details check out first link in the description but for now so you can download this file here and you also have a reference right so here we are starting with that and first of all let's just cut with the spline curve here at the top just a little bit away so it just doesn't look so super weird so let's cut the sheet here at the top and also create a new spline cut this bottom here again select the curve and cut our sheet and delete the sheet and delete those curves perfect so now let's create exactly this shape here why you came here so let me first explain it to you so you see this surface here it goes like inwards right so we have to cut here and just follow this shape and cut here a whole piece away and then rebuild everything and create those chamfers here so again I will just briefly brush over I will not go too crazy into details because yeah it's explained already in the course but first of all we have to recreate this shape here on the top and there are many different ways but we can just start with the spline and if you want that the spline is always in the front because right now if you paint it it's in the middle and it's just like not comfortable to work with just go here to the front view and yeah, just create a line for example press E for extrude and F for freestyle snap to the curve and just drag that out a little bit okay so it's like on the same plane as you want it because now in object mode you can select this plane and just bring it here to the front and press 3 for face mode select this face and just press spacebar because now you see you have a construction plane which is aligned to the surface because we can here save it so just click here at the top and go out of that because now you see it's normally aligned but if we just click here on our custom plane bam we have it at the front so now if we go to the custom plane and press space we can start to create our spline curve on our custom plane and just when you drag over the helmet press control and just create the curve because then it will always stay at the front it's so amazing and also where you have um, here those curves create three points as you saw perfect so now you see our curve is at the front and we can perfectly see it and we have a dancing curve so let's just bring it manually now into shape just take those points here as always and just follow here this sharp cut here so spend some time and you see bam we have a perfect curve and that looks great so we have to do the same here at the bottom so this time we can just maybe create a line which is straight oh and again snap here to the custom plane and shift a and just go from here till here before you start with this curve here and now shift f i have it on control point curve so here control point curve we can download all shortcuts in the description 
Just snap here and drag it out so it's tangent and create some points and just again follow this outer shape here. And again just align those points. But that looks great. And now we just have to connect this end here so we have one closed curve. So connect those two points and select all of those curves and press J so you have one curve. Perfect. So yeah I'm not covering here this detail because yeah this is definitely out of scope here in this tutorial. So C for cut and cut into our surface and you see we are getting something like that. So you can hide the curve and you can hide the sheet and perfect. So now we've created this hole and as always in surface modeling we start with the very very main form, main shape and then so as like this balloon shape <laughs> and then we cut everything away so right now what we did, because we have this detail which is inside, so we just have to cut more of it away so we can rebuild what is inside. The same with the holes and all the other hundreds of details, like it's going from big to small with surface modeling. But now, super simple, let's create this chamfer and we can just follow here our reference. So create a line and just follow here this angle and the same here at the bottom. And now, because this chamfer will be always the same angle kind of, we just want to sweep it around this and this edge. So select both edges here and shift D to duplicate because now we can take this one little piece and go to sweep and just sweep it around this edge here. And you see we have our chamfer. And in a second we will bring it into shape of course. So the same here, select this and sweep and bam. You see that looks awesome. Delete all the curves, we don't need them right now. And here you see, now we just have to bring it a little bit more into shape and make it from big going to small. So here in the reference image, so let me just show it here, here this chamfer is going here towards the end, right? So this is very interesting. But here at the bottom, this chamfer ends yeah, somewhere here in the middle. So we can do this. So first of all, we go again here to our custom plane and we will create a shift F, a control point curve and we will snap here to the end point because we want tangents here. So we snap it here to this edge where we will create and later the curvature, the tangent curvature. So just snap it here to the end point and snap once, twice more to the edge. So you make sure that you are, that you are tangent to this edge here. And now again, just control click and just rebuild the curve so yeah you can spend some more time and some more love with that but yeah just create a nice smooth beautiful shape here so you see we have this curve again just following the reference image and now with c we can cut our chamfer and we can delete this bottom piece here and delete this curve and you see we are getting very close to our shape. So let's select both and join them and let's do the exactly same at the bottom but this time start somewhere here in the middle. So again, control point curve or shift F and just snap, yeah, let's snap here somewhere and once and twice to the edge just to make sure that we are tangent and create here again or recreate here this shape and again, you can just take this curve, press C and cut our chamfer. Right click, delete this whole piece, delete the curve and press 4 and just join everything. Perfect. So we are almost done. And now, first of all, because now you see we have here a yeah, interruption of the transition because here at the top you see we have a one long curve or edge, but here we have an interruption. So what we want to do first is we want to create here a surface first, so this one here. And which will be here at this edge, tangent or even G2. If you don't know what I'm talking about, tangent, continuity, G1, G2, I have a super useful PDF below this video. I explain everything what those terms mean and you definitely have to know it for surface modeling and all the shortcuts and some other stuff. So download that if you wish. And after we have the surface, we can close this whole big chunk of surface. 
So to close this surface here and have at this edge and at this edge tangency or continuity, we have to create here an edge which is at this point here tangent g1. And then we can just patch it. So very simple, create the line and just snap it here and just go somewhere here. So it's like 90 degrees. And now just press SS, just make it a little bit longer. And now shift one or imprint this curve onto our surface. Because if you right click, we need here those two extra edges. Because we will use this edge and this edge. And now shift B. So we will use this edge and this edge and search for bridge edge or I have it on shift B. Again, everything you find in the PDF. Shift B and bam, we have a nice curve. But this doesn't look correct, right? <laughs> because here at the bottom, so this is the start curve, which I here we selected this first. G2 is perfect, but here at the top, because look in our reference, here at the top, it's not tangent. It's a sharp angle cut, so it has to be G0. So that means here at the top, if we press G0, bam, you see? We are following the shape, the curve of our balloon shape <laughs> here at the bottom. But we are G0 at the top because we don't need it at the top. So if we press OK and now just select all the boundaries with Shift. And if we select Patch and G0 at the top, but we can give here easily G2 and G2. And let it load if we press OK. And guys, you see we have an absolute perfect transition. It looks here a little bit jagged. It's because we are very zoomed in, but if you render it out, it's, it's, it's smooth. But look, our surface is perfectly transitioning. And that looks amazing. So now we can do this whole part and close it. So let's go back to our reference. And first of all, create here a boundary curve. So just spline curve and just do something like that. And as always, we need to extrude it where we want it uh, symmetry over in the middle. So it's tangent. So we have this information of curvature. Again, PDF. And now, yeah, we are set. Now we can try to select all of those curves here and just patch it. Bam. And let it load for one second. And you see, we are almost perfect. We can just give here G2 and also here, of course, and let it load. And you see, guys, we are almost done. So if we press OK, so if we check it out here with the Chrome matte cap, you see we have a perfect transition. Yes. And yeah, if that's something you're interested in, I can definitely recommend you this helmet course here. We are not just doing the helmet from start to finish. There's also a whole bonus course about the pure essentials of surface modeling with a lot of practices and theory. So you really understand what you're doing because this is my goal in my courses. It's not that you're just copying and afterwards you don't know what to do. Like I teach you and I show you not just the how, but also the why, why we are doing what is important, how does it work, the whole theory and a bunch of bonuses. You can check out here some testimonials. Yeah, in any case, I hope that video helped you. Check out the first link in the description for more information about the course. And I hope I can see you in my next one. Bye.